I imagine my listeners doing all sorts of things, like all the time. They're in the car and I keep hoping that they're not holding or managing their phones while they're driving. I imagine them making tea and maybe they listen like me. I like to have multiple things on at the same time. So I'll have the radio on and TV on at the same time. I know. So when I'm upstairs, it's all about the radio. Then when I'm downstairs, I sneak something on the TV. Okay, my routine before the show is that I'll try and eat something. I pack lunch boxes. I mean, look into my bag. I have like two lunch boxes and one finished juice bottle. So I'll dig into at least one of those lunch boxes. On a good day, I'll get through both lunch boxes. And then after the show, if I didn't finish it, I go back to my lunch box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a tea person. I have tea sets and teapots and different teas from different places. I went to a spa and I asked them if I could have some of the tea that they had served. It was this beautiful rooibos with, infused with vanilla. It felt like having dessert. When you put a little bit of honey in, it was like you're sipping on dessert. It was so delicious. I have copious amounts of tea in a day. So more than water, actually. More than like plain water. When I started in radio and I was accelerated to afternoon drive, I had a mentor, his name was David Mashavela. And there was the question about what kind of woman do you want to be on air, the female voice? Are you going to be the girl who hangs out with the guy kind of woman? Or are you going to be the girl's girl damsel in distress? Oh, you know. And I thought, why can't I be me? And the feedback that I got was that men don't listen to women, women don't listen to men. So you must shift, change yourself, manipulate yourself to fit into something that someone would listen to. And I rejected that. I took a lot of offense to that. And I told them, I am going to be me. And my mentor, who was my producer, David Mashavela, fully supported me. But I just hated the notion and the idea in radio that men don't listen to women and women don't listen to men. And I just said, do that. That producer and presenter relationship is very, it's so sacred. It's like you're driving and your producer's the navigator, you know? And maybe you're even driving blindfolded. <laughs> so you need them. <laughs> you need to trust them. Like, what, what, what are we doing? Where are we going? Hello, <laughs> I'm waiting to interview Michelle Obama. <laughs> That female energy, that woman that you just want to be around, that you want to bask in, you want her close so that maybe some of her shine will fall on you so you also, you can also shine, you know. So there's something about her, there's something, she's a leader, she's a mother, she's a woman, she's more, more than capable, she's assertive, she's grounded, and she's beautiful and sophisticated and great style all at once. You know what they say, if you want to be an Obama, you must have a Michelle. Japan! <laughs> Japan, Japan, Japan. I really want to go to Japan. And then Cuba. So it's been Cuba, but then Japan has kind of frog, <laughs> frog jumped Cuba. But yes, we'll get there. Cuba and Japan. I have two soul foods. Uh, Samp is one. I love it for winter. I love it in winter. It just gives me this cozy, carved up feeling. <laughs> and then, ding. I'm a Motswana, and that tlabejo, that is the start of ding, is something that, I'm not gonna say it's hard to come by, maybe I'm just being lazy, but my mom always has some, and I often ask her to make for me, so it just gives me more reason to visit her make me a better daughter, you know? So that's the lure, that's the bait, that she's gonna make some ding for me. And I am there, like this. When it comes to fashion, I don't follow trends. What I do, though, is buy local. You can put some money on that and take it to the bank. So I think it's important that we help our industry to thrive. It's not just about Heritage Day. We should be donning our local gear all the time. Uh, littering. Littering irritates me. I get so angry so quickly when I see people litter. It, it annoys me, but then when I see the actual act, <laughs> I feel like rushing to you and saying, but why? 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 At a dinner party, I am definitely a talker. 
Definitely, I want the conversation to be robust. I want the conversation to be fun, to ha to go everywhere, to go everywhere. Like one minute it should be crazy and silly, and then the next minute we should be deep and reflective, and really just want to change the world. And then the next minute maybe just yeah, dancing on the table maybe. I've shut down dinner parties. 